Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to my live at five. Uh, I'm in a different background. You probably never seen this background before, but I got a special guest here today. And uh, I didn't announce that this morning. I probably should have because we probably would have a thousand people because everybody wants to hear from this guy. But uh, good afternoon. My name is Anthony Stewart. I'm here in Atlanta, Maryland. I'm at our national headquarters. And uh, I'm super excited about our topic today, and I'm always super excited about what's going on. There are so many wonderful things going on at this company called American Classic Agency. And let me say this, if you are anywhere in Florida, Georgia, I don't care where you are, you need to meet us in Jacksonville, Florida on January the 18th. We're gonna do a business overview session we're going to have our annual kickoff. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Hello there, Shelly, Maria. How y'all doing? Man, oh man, oh man. So you need to meet us there. Hey, Felicia. So uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on here at ACA. We are really uh, bridging that wealth gap. We are protecting income. We are getting people out of debt in nine years or less, including their mortgage, without them spending any additional money. And then we could help start creating uh, financial legacies. So this is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. It is Tuesday. Uh, we're about to go into the busiest month of the year. And I'm hoping and praying that everybody is going to be protected. We are expanding in Delaware, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Florida, Texas. We, now we've just expanded to Hawaii. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are growing, we are growing, we are growing. I'm super excited to be a part of it. So, listen, uh, my topic today, today is Giving Tuesday, right? Giving Tuesday. And I started to say, uh, my topic, I started to talk about, are you a giver or a taker? I said, more uh, impactful than that. And uh, so, my topic today is um, the best gift to give as parents, right? Uh, we always, so many people go, they spend too much money during this holiday season, and then we spend all of next year trying to pay for it. You know, we've been a, accustomed to doing everything for our kids. I hear it all the time. I want my kids to have better life than I did. But what do we do with it when it comes to our finances, you know, with the give to our children? So I thought I would be uh, bring on the uh, our chief marketing officer. I just happened to catch him in the office at five o'clock today, and uh, his name is Douglas Aza. And uh, so I got a few questions for Douglas that I want him to elaborate on. But anyway, uh, the best gift to give. Uh, most of the time, we um, we give our children financially. We give them a savings bond, or we open up a savings account. And that's fine. It's better than nothing. But Douglas, from your perspective, yeah. the best gift to give. I mean, I mean, just just what do you think about that? A savings bond or a CD? And, and what do you think about that? You know, the, here's the thing, right? When we're giving gifts, we want to give gifts, especially to our kids. We want to give them a gift that just in case they start acting crazy, you could take your <laughs> gift. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I like cash value insurance because I'm I'm putting money in it. Right. 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 I'm able to still use the gift to make right. me more money. Okay. See. Okay. Money got to keep making money. You know, buying them a toy and all that stuff is okay. Right. But here's how I buy the toy. Right. So let me break down. Let me give them some tips. Yes. How yes. I do it. Please do. This is how I do, do it. So you're going to win now with multiple ideas. So check it out. So here's what I do. When I go on trips, I build up a lot of points and different things, right? Mm -hmm. So I use credit card a lot, and I build points on my credit card. So I use those points to buy gifts. Mm. So you don't buy savings bonds and no, all that. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I was just no, wondering because somebody things. was telling no, me no, that's no what they were doing. Bonds. No, that's, oh, okay, that's okay. All right. So what I do is, let's say for example. Going on children, our vacation, kids. You okay. know, we all want to go on vacation to create those beautiful memories, right? Right, right. So instead of just going and paying cash for it, mm -hmm. I use cash for our life insurance. Maybe oh, for right. one of the children's policies. Okay. Because my policy is designed to go make me more money. So, okay. for example, I charge the credit card first. Because okay. I'm the owner of the policies, right? Oh, so I charge okay. the credit card, get all the points on the credit card, mm -hmm. use their life insurance to pay off the credit card. Okay, okay. Right? Okay. Their cash value in their policy to pay off the credit card. So when I pay off that credit card, 
also accumulate points. Okay. So Christmas okay. time, like now, right? I right. use the points to purchase gift. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You, you say cash value life insurance. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think all life insurance, all cash value life insurance is the same. No. Could you elaborate that? Some people say, well, whole life is whole life is whole life. Can you elaborate on what you use to yeah. get cash early? So life insurance is all depends on how it's built. Okay. All life insurance are not created equal. Okay. Some okay. insurance agents don't even understand it, so they don't know how to sell it. Right. So in our company, we use whole life IUL, and of course, we also offer term insurance. Term insurance, you don't build any cash. It's just strictly to protect your family life, but that's right. fine. Okay. So IULs, yes, you could use it as cash value, but it's more for long term. Right. Whole life we like because you could get money quick because of the way we design. Okay. You could put okay. money today, take money out tomorrow. Fast. Oh, wow. Okay. And you also now after you've built up your IUL after years and years, okay. Guess what? You could now start using it. So I use IULs a lot. I use whole life a lot. Okay. So it just depends okay. on which bank I want to. You just like you know we go to the bank. See, I use life insurance like a bank. Right. Because right. today I might decide okay if I have Navy Federal and right. I have Bank of America. Right. It depends on where I'm going. I'm going to try okay which card do I use? Um, uh, let me use this one. Right. Right. Okay. Which bank do I want to put money at? This one. So I do the same thing with life insurance. But what I've done, though, to make it even sweeter for me is I segregate each policy and I say, okay, this policy here is strictly for investments to make me more money. Okay. So I go okay. use it and go buy properties if I need to. Right. Or I use it to invest in other businesses. Right. Going on vacation. I say, okay, I'll use this one here to go on vacation. This is my, just like how they tell you to have seven different um, right. bank accounts. Right. I don't want to do bank account because how much interest am I getting? Right. 0. Right. 0. Right. 0.01. So I'd rather use life insurance where I'm getting 4% guarantee on whole right. life or right. speculative okay. interest. So what's this thing I've been hearing? Uh, you know, I, I just dealt with it the other day. Mm -hmm. Someone said I just got a savings bond for my granddaughter. And and uh, I said, well, I think you're better off using yeah, you know, people, value people sure. do the savings bond because it's it's what they know. Right. Right. You know, that's right. what they know. They go to the bank and that's what the bank offers them. Right. 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 So right. they just need to understand the power of cash value insurance. Unfortunately, that's not being preached enough. Right. People right. don't understand it and a lot of people have misrepresented it. Right. Because right. today people are getting a lot of their information on social media and right. from an insurance agent that just started the business yesterday. <laughs> now they're an expert. So can you know, uh, <laughs> can you talk about uh, uh, just a little bit, just so the audience would know? Uh, you know, the government is fully aware of this. They gave us certain provisions as it relates to life insurance. Right. Um, you know, why aren't people using it? I mean, because again, the government, you know, of course, the government they're designed to control the mindset of people. Got it. Got right, because okay. if I control your mind, I control your money. Right, you know, okay. whoever okay. controls the money wins all the time. So, if you don't have money, you don't have a voice. Got it. Got so, it. if the government keeps you broke, then you have no voice. You have to do everything they want you to do. Got it. Got so, it. yes, Got they've it. given some guidelines, which it wasn't like they gave it for free because they're still trying to break it. Mm. They're still trying to close those loopholes. But mm -hmm. because a lot of them are heavily invested in it, because remember, the government is the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. Got it. That's the government. Got Got IRS, it. Internal Revenue Service. Okay. They're in the business of doing what? Collecting money. Correct. So they want to start collecting money in life insurance. Mm. Because they're like, man, we gave all these provisions right. when we created it years ago. Because right. people don't understand. Life insurance came out years ago. Right. It was designed for the poor widow. Because mm. back in the day, a, a women weren't working. It wasn't right. like, it's not like today where we have a lot of <laughs> successful women right. killing it. Especially at ACA. Yeah, especially at ACA. <laughs> <laughs> Making more money than some guys, you know? Right, right. I'm so happy about that. I don't know what to do. 60% of our sales force are women? Women, man. I, yeah, I love it. So man, back you. in the day, women didn't work. They just stay right. home and take care of the kids. Right. The guy right. goes out and hustles and does everything. But then he has a lot of debt. Mm. And then he dies. The creditors come after him and they take the house they take everything from the wife and she's like well, i didn't do it well she gotta hurt me find another husband yeah yeah and a good man is hard to find <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm just cutting up because y'all know i'm more serious than this but i'm cutting up today because douglas is here but uh, so, uh but yeah keep so talking. congress came in and the insurance company went to congress and said listen can we give 
women this life insurance. This is the only thing the husband is left for. Mm. We should protect it from creditors. Right. So creditors right. don't have to take that life insurance money. Mm. Congress thought about it and said, man, that's a good idea. And they passed the law and they called it the widow insurance. Oh, man. And that law is in place where creditors cannot take money from a life insurance policy. Wow. So folks take advantage of life insurance because a savings bonds, a creditors can take it. Mm. You know, they could put a lien on it and take it. Like but they the can't do account, it. Right? It's like a bank account. They can't take it when it comes to life insurance. And you're building guaranteed interest on a life insurance policy. Tax free. Mm, mm, mm. And you're setting your children up ahead of the competition. Right, right. You could do a policy for your kids as little as $50 a month. Right. $50. So for someone two years old, $50 Man. could probably get them Ooh. what a half a million or yeah. more? Yeah, or more. And then think about when they become 21, 30 years old. How much cash right. do they have in that policy? To buy their first home or something like My that. My goodness. Yeah. You know? Well, talk about that, too. Not only that, you, you're guaranteeing the insurability of the, the child. Man, folks, look, look at it. Think about it. A lot of children are having juvenile diabetes. Yeah. You yeah. know, obesity. Right. They can't qualify for life insurance. Right, right. So right. when you secure your children ahead of time, right. then now they could qualify for insurance. And then we add riders to it that allows them to get insurance even when they're older and they have health issues. Right. So what would you say the youngest age that someone should consider doing this for a child? Six soon months as it, old. As soon as months, they come out and they soon cry. As they get a so, <laughs> Social Security card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they do. <laughs> yeah. I, I know we've been conditioned in our communities to think, well, if it's a child, they're not. We're not relying on their income, so why should we put insurance on them? But man. I mean, you're sending them up to win. That's right. why you're doing it. Right. You're right. Send, and remember, you're, I call it you're borrowing their life. Right. You're right. using their life to fund, just like you go up, why would you open up a savings account for your children or a checking account at right. a bank? Because that's where most people go. They open up a savings account. Right, right. They open up a 529 plan. They do all right. this. Right. Use life insurance instead. Right. Because guess what? You have access to the money. On mm. like a 529 plan where you're going to get hit with taxes if you touch a penalty. It's your money. So let me ask you this. It's so like, if I request money on Monday, man, how soon could I have it in my bank account? By At least by Thursday, Friday, it should be in there. Right. Okay. Worst case scenario. It could earlier. It just depend. But Thursday, Friday, it should be in your bank account. Wow. And you could take the money from your children's policy and go make more money. Right. Wow. You see what I'm saying? It's a savings account for you, not for you. It ain't your children's money. It's your money. Right, right. And I've seen so many people talk about setting up a Roth IRA for their kids. Right, and right. But your kid don't have a job, so you got to wait till they're 15 to start a policy? No. <laughs> I don't want to wait till 15. I want to do it now when so that by the time they're 15, right. there's a lot of money in there. That's right. So you're talking about a gift. This is Giving Tuesday. Man. The gift, the best gift the to give. The best gift to give is especially for those of you that are business owners mm -hmm. pay your children a salary they don't get that salary so you get the benefit as a business owner right. and then take that money and dump in casual life insurance you could do whatever amount you want to put in mm. so whatever the maximum let's say the maximum salary you could pay your child and get tax free where you don't pay taxes on that salary let's say it's twelve thousand dollars right take the whole twelve thousand and put in life insurance not the Roth IRA Right. Life insurance, and then use the money later to invest in things that's going to make you more money. Mm, mm -mm. Man, I'm so glad I caught you in the office on my live at five today. I probably wouldn't <laughs> have thought about the widow's policy and all that kind of stuff like that. But uh, it's education, y'all. Yeah. And we're going to be doing more and more and more educational seminars here at the office. 7375 Executive Place, uh, Suite 300 in Atlanta, Maryland. Our team of agents all across the country are available man, we are to come to. Man. I'm trying to be, man. I'm trying to learn from you, man. So <laughs> as, as leaders, we always got to be learning. We always got to be learning. You got to be razor sharp. I know we're going to this event in uh, Orlando called the Circle of Wealth. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So definitely in January, that's that's our, you know, the time for you to, to get our mindset. So we're going to hang out with a bunch of successful financial professionals and we keep educating ourselves. It's called Cal College. It's a college, basically, for financial professionals like us. So we could continue to learn and sharpen our skill so that we could help our clients more. 
That's and right. the thing for you that is looking at us right now, you know, we want you to come join our company. I know mm -hmm. you probably with some other company over there, you you know, but check this out. You know, where are you going to come in and, and get into a business where you get trained by the best of the best? Talk about MDRT. What does that stand for? So I know we have a lot of people. It million dollar round table. Yeah. We're yeah. both top of the table. That means top of the table is not just the regular million dollar. We're the top. <laughs> little old country boy from Eastern Shore. <laughs> and a, a little old guy from um, Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> but listen, oh, man. We, we got into this business to help you become successful. Mm -hmm. So we got a bunch of other folks, agents just like you and I, that are million dollar round table producers, you know, ch chairman's club producers, mm -hmm. just doing amazing things and helping families scale and build legacies, which is something that we do. We That's get people right. out of debt and build wealth at the same time. We're the only company that do that. That's get right. them out of debt and build wealth. Nobody else is doing that. They might talk about getting out of debt. Right. But then they're not talking about building wealth at the same time, simultaneously. With the same dollar. With the same dollar. Imagine That's that. It. Wow. Man, listen. Hey, man, I'm going to see y'all next Tuesday. I, I might have to find Douglas again on a Tuesday <laughs> at 5 o'clock. But anyway, I want to thank you all for joining us today. And uh, this was a spare the moment. I just happened to catch Douglas in the office. And you got to use the gifts Reese, when they're there. there. She's hey, Reese Fallon, she's doing a phenomenal job in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, so many of our agents are on. And we thank you all for your continued support. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in Jacksonville. For those of y'all that's not on our team, if you're local, meet us here Monday night at 645. We're doing a live overview session at seven, from 7 to 8. Yeah. I promise you that would be the best 60 minutes I'll be here. of your life. I'll be here, too, with bells on. And if you know of anybody that... Is open-minded, is a good communicator, because that's really what it's all about. You don't have to know anything. We're going to teach you all the stuff. Meet us here Monday night, and 99% of this is done virtually. So let's get it, y'all. I thank you again for your time, and I'll see you all again next Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Thank you. <laughs>